yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now, today we have, we got G Herbo with the song addressing his charges. Sauce Walker with the implant, Sway Lee's goods held hostage, Boosie on King Vaughn in Atlanta, and Snoop with the leaked footage. That's right, they leaked them bad boys. Yo, thanks for rocking with us here at Celeb Source. If this is your first time to the channel and you crack a smile, man, be sure to hit that like button at throughout any course of the video. Hit the sub button if you haven't done so already. Again, thanks for rocking with us. If you got a spare 12 to 15 minutes or 16 minutes, we'll hit you with the news that will be talking points that you can refer to tomorrow, man. Your folks will start thinking of you as a source for celeb news. Yo, they'll never tell you directly, though. You see what I'm saying? You might get a big head. This celeb news, right, is an insight into human psychology and... This is a historical chronicle into the culture of 2020 as seen through musical art via the mode of technology using some of the bigger na na art artists of our times. And it's all for free, man. All you have to pay is a commercial. Oh, sky's the limit. You're going to give us a big head. We appreciate you. Sandra Ingebrigtsen, much love. You got to be related to Chris. If so, tell him I said what up. And Ishmael Henry, thanks for joining us. We appreciate your support. It means a lot to us. Now, coming out the gate is your boy G Herbal. Yes, your boy dropped the song with federal charges in his rear view mirror where they spoke about a multi-million dollar fraud scheme which, suppose, which supposedly took place over the years involving private jets, limousine rides, exotic car rentals, luxury vacations, and yes, designer puppies. I'm dying to see what them bad boys look like. That's right. Designer puppies is actually a thing. Now, your boy addressed the charges in a, in a bit of a song when he said, quote, but anyway, said enough of that. Let's talk about this paper. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about them jets. Yeah, let's talk about Jamaica. Ask about me. I ain't never been a fraud. I went hard from the start. In my city, I'm a god. Mother Effa, if you know, you know. Never been no phony, though. Rollies for my Brody though, barely know Joe Rodeo. Heard they looking for me, I'm like, oh, I'm on the way. Bond money, no, I'm straight. I spent 130K at the gate. Close quote. Now, the track is heat, right? And I ain't going front. It, the, the song is called Statement. So you definitely got to check it out. I don't know how I feel about artists actually coming, uh, talking about cases and stuff like that, even in their music, man, because I, I swear they're going to use these things against them. I mean, they've done it in the past with other artists. Look, if you're a gamer, right, you've seen a fiasco concerning this game called Cyberpunk 2077. Now, look, one day I'm, I'm going to do a gamer channel, right? And I'm going to talk about that game and how the future will involve people with cybernetic implants. But Sauce Walker appears to have beat me to the whole thing because your boy has brought the future a little closer to us by having a huge $250,000 diamond implanted in his face. He quoted, he posted uh, on the gram quote, it's over ninjas, I won, close quote. With this particular video, yo, take a look. You ain't standing like this up. You got something to do. They thought it was a dead body. Here lays the career of soft fucker that these niggas thought they killed and fucked up. But I get Yeah, man. Shout out to motherfucking uh, 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 Lil Flip, Lil Chip. Uh, what's the other, what's my boy's name on that song? Three Six Mafia and, and Tilapia. Cause they ain't stopping them. Yeah, I'm the kid that did. Yeah, I'm the motherfucking drip guard. You don't see this shit? Yeah. Dripping. Oh, yeah. What you even gonna do to beat this? How you gonna do? Where you gonna, where you gonna put a diamond in? What you gonna do? Put it in your cheekbone? We gonna do put it in your chin? We gonna do put a big ass down, put it in your forehead? Who you think he is? Who you think he is? Avatar? What you gonna do? Go up? Mm. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Go get him, put that phone down, nigga. Lambo Rambo, if they oh, damn know. Oh, Hold on, oh, this is GIA certification. Yeah, this is a quarter million dollar precious stone. Hold on, let me turn that bitch to the side so y'all can, can see I ain't trying to hide them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is the appearance of the cost of years. Shout out to motherfucking Lambo, if you damn know. Yeah, I just dropped the Lamborghini motherfucking Bro, truck nobody got on one thing. rock. Yeah, you niggas just saved up for your whole year, your whole life. Come on, let's go get up here. Ooh, you see that motherfucker shit? Yo, yo, y'all might be thinking, right? Like, yo, man, this has gone too far. But I'm here to tell you, right? I'm afraid this is only the beginning. 
Now, in case you haven't heard, right, Sway Lee, this is old news, man. This is like earlier in the week, right? Like, uh, Sway Lee lost a hard drive that contains some new music that he says is some of his hottest stuff that has not been released. He has offered 20K for the safe return of said hard drive. Now, while on live, he found himself speaking with his peoples before someone showed up into the live, which he, I guess, clicked in on so that they can, you know, dialogue or whatever, and the converse. And they showed up basically, what is it? Like with a with a guy, guy for a mask or something like that. <laughs> Talking about, yo, we got your hard drive, ninja. With the with the voice changer and all, yo, we got your hard drive, nigga, and we also want to let you know everything that was in the bag, bruh. Before they started flashing all kinds of paraphernalia that my man had in the bag, hey, yo, supposedly, right? Matter of fact, why don't you take a listen? I'ma catch you on the back end. Do the right thing, like eighty percent of those songs on that hard drive are locked anyway. Like you can't even get on them. Like so, just if you got it. Just contact me. I don't even know what the fuck it looked like. Like, first of all, it's it. I'm not gonna tell you what it looked like. I need to see it. You show me what the hard drive you found looks like, and then we'll go from there. But I need this hard drive. I just been putting it, everything yeah, I have time. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is priceless. This is this is priceless shit that's on this hard drive. But turn the fucking hard drive. These niggas are so crazy, bro. Halloween over, bro. You think this should have gone? <laughs> hold, on, hold on real quick. Hold on real quick. I'll show you something. It was in a movie bag, right? So you really got the hard drive? It's, it's all your shit. All yours. Now, supposedly, right, the person already began leaking the music, which begs the question, right? Did someone really find it? Or is someone on his team trying to generate enough interest and buzz in the music with him dropping the joint? <laughs> I mean, it looks like we're going to have to wait and see. But the whole thing sounds a little bit sketchy. I mean... Looking at his facial expression, it appears like he seemed pretty shocked, but of all the people that he would, he would want to have interacted with, why would he in particular interact with this guy who just so happened to actually have it? I don't know, man. It looks like we're gonna have to give it some time. Now, one thing I would assume for sure is that he's either going to be releasing this joint early because it was actually stolen and he doesn't want any more stuff to be released, or if it is from his crew, then he would release it early again to make it look like, you know, uh, I mean, I don't know, just to because he wants to, what is it, ride the wave of the whole thing? I have no idea. Now, artist Boosie has found himself on the Vlad couch, and I, I know, I know, you're tight about that. Anyway, he had a few statements to say about the whole situation that went down with King Von in Atlanta. Now, Boosie stated, quote, King Von supposed to have a strap on him. Uh, 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 close quote. I, I, I think he specifically said he couldn't have a strap on him, although uh, something tells me that wouldn't have stopped him, but whatever. Uh, Boosie also argued with Vlad that Vaughn shouldn't have been physically fighting with Quando Rondo since he had security. Now, I could have sworn I heard somebody come through in the comment section saying, yo, you're supposed to protect the bag. And if he was giving out money to his community and all that other stuff, his family, he was the bag. You're supposed to protect that. Now, Boosie said, quote, I think they kind of underestimated Atlanta. I don't know what. I feel like they would have been more ready in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta, a chill spot, kind of like ninjas really just partying, especially with out of towners. They ain't hating on no out of towners. It's just a bad. It's just a bad turn of events. Your entourage gotta be ready. Everybody got to be protected. Close quote. Matter of fact, open it right back up. Security don't need the guns. Your ninjas need the guns. That f me up. I like King Von and I like Quando. Ain't nothing positive out of this situation. Close the quote on back up. Now, I think that Von's uh, security team did have straps on him. But the thing about it is everybody that pulled out a burner outside of the police got popped by the police as far as I understand. So his people did have something on him. 
It's just that they also met their demise as well. And finally, we hit you yesterday, right? Concern uh, with the joint concerning Eminem, who dropped a song called Zeus on his new album, Mu Music to be Murdered by, something like that, right? The song that he dropped was called Zeus, where he had a few words for many, many artists, including Drake, uh, Chance, the Migos, yeah, yeah, the Migos, and Future. If you haven't heard the song by now, what are you waiting for? All right, go take, give it a listen, and then you come back and talk about it over here. Now, it, it was more or less uh, concerning Drake and Future and the Migos and Chance. It was, it was more or less words of warning to those particular artists about the industry. But he did mention Snoop on the track, and it was a bit bumpy to say the least. Now, here's the thing, right? Since his B side album just dropped, someone thought it was in good taste to leak an audio of Snoop Dogg talking about the song Stan. Now, before cats run off thinking we're, uh, you know, pulling out a beef or, or uh, discovering a beef, right? This statement from Snoop is approximately, if our calculations are correct, it is approximately 20 years old. So, someone thought it was a bright idea to release this joint right when M drops his joint from about 20 years ago. Yo, take a listen. And, you know, then we get to the next Ray record, which is around here. And you know, uh, when I when I heard when I heard the beat, I was like, damn, I, I know this sample from somewhere. You know, it sounded real real similar to Eminem's beat to Stan, right? Not to me. I didn't somebody that to know so the viewers can know. A producer has a sound that's identified with him. So that's an identification that's saying that Dr. Dre really put his hands on that track. I didn't hear Stan on that song when I heard it. Yo, now that joint right there, <laughs> that was some crazy stuff. Now, some folks I've heard come through after hearing that. Some folks are coming through talking about, yo, man, Snoop said what a lot of people are thinking. A lot of other people are coming through in the comment section saying, yo, if M wasn't a white dude and he was a black dude, he clearly would have had number one. So the whole issue is really surrounding race. OK, I'd uh, love to know your thoughts in the comments below concerning that. What you think on that? Yo, what do you think about Sauce Walker with those diamond implants in the face? Is that going over the edge? Is it a little bit overboard? I mean, does that mean that like if someone... I mean, I wouldn't want something like that on my face, right? Because, God forbid, someone decapitate me and be like, yo, I got the head with the diamond in it. This joint is 250 mil. You see what I'm saying? Sway leaves goods being held hostage. Uh, he offered 20K for that. If you found the hard drive, would you be, like, ransoming the hard drive for the 20K? What's your thoughts on that? And what Boosie said, why is Boosie even showing? Don't even, I'm not going to even go there. Yo, let us know what you think. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. This nigga gonna be as loud as possible.